this problem, we use the use of substitution technique to solve this integral. First, let u be x minus 5. The derivative du dx is 1. That means the differential u is 1 times dx or just dx. Let's separate this as the prep area. Now back to the main part of the integration. Let's analyze the problem or organize the problem in the easy way to handle. Two as a coefficient, we're going to treat this as a product of 1 over x minus 5 quantity squared multiplied by x times dx. And then we replace the x minus 5 by the term u, the u squared as a denominator. And then x multiplied by dx, which is the du. Multiplied by du. One more thing that we have to handle, which is the x. From the prep area, we have u equals x minus 5. That means the u plus 5 equals x that we're going to use to replace the x term in the integrand part. Then we have 2 times the integral of 1 over u squared. x is the quantity u plus 5 and multiplied by du. The problem now is all in the form of the u variable. And then we're going to work on using the appropriate rule to find the antiderivative. In this case, let's distribute 1 over u squared to the quantity u plus 5. Now we have 1 over u plus 5 over u to the second quantity times du. The first term, we see that it gonna turns out as an antiderivative equals the, uh, the natural log of absolute value of u. But the second term is in the power form. So we're gonna write it as five times u to the negative second. And put the note on the side here. The antiderivative of u to the power n with respect to u is u to the n plus one over n plus one. And then the antiderivative of one over u du is the natural log of absolute value of du. And then finish up the problem. We have two times the quantity of the natural log of absolute value of u plus five times u to the negative first over negative one and added by c as a constant of integration. The last step, we replace u with the quantity x minus five to finish up the problem. Then we have two times the natural log of absolute value of x minus five, minus five, uh, we call u to the Negative first is one over u. That's one of the algebra, algebra property. That means the second term now becomes negative five divided by the quantity u, which is x minus five, and then added by c. And this is our final solution.